Hey guys, welcome to another video here. I'm very excited about this one because I solved the dead battery problem here um, on my own. So this is a, a battery for my Toyota Highlander and it's been, we picked it up. We picked up the vehicle from an uh, auction and uh, the battery's been dead for for a while the car was not driven for about uh, 90 to 100 days so about three months and I took the ba uh, car battery to a professional so they said it was pretty low they couldn't recharge it I took this one here's a receipt from Walmart took it to Walmart they do free recharging for a couple of hours they recharge your battery for free and as you can see right here this battery has cold cranking amps of 356, which I thought that was kind of on the low side. And the voltage they measured at 3.76 volts. So they told me after about a couple hours when I went back to pick it up, they said they couldn't recharge it. And that, that was because the volt, voltage was pretty low. So I solved the problem. What I did was I took my jumper cables here, let me show you guys, and that was a couple days ago, I took the jumper cable, this is the positive red, the plus connector, this is the negative terminal, the minus, the black one, so I hooked it up, ran the cable under the hood right here as you can see, it goes right under the hood over here and I put it through the window passenger side and I pulled the other end all the way to my front passenger seat and I took the red connector terminal the positive one this is the plus red is for positive always so I connected the red to positive negative to negative the black one to the minus and I went ahead and connected it a couple days ago and I simply picked up my car battery and right here for demonstration I just put it on the floor mat right there and I kept it there overnight uh, so two days two nights total of 45 to 50 hours I drove around you don't have to be necessarily driving it around uh, you can just uh, Kind of have it parked but keep daily driving basically you run some errands go to gas station shopping whatever chores you got to do work, work and home back and forth so this cable here it's a nice day so i can still close my window there will be about one eighth of an inch opening but you can squeeze the uh, cable in there so i kept driving it like that uh, nice days you can drive with slightly open windows, so that's not a problem. The idea here is to recharge your car battery and What happens is when you take it to shops or use a battery charger Or trickle charger most of them when the voltage is pretty low like about two to three volts They don't really uh, Recharge it because the voltage is pretty low. So if the voltage was seven eight volts and higher they are able to recharge them I don't know if it's a conspiracy or what the uh, physics of it is, but I'm not a an electrician. So I'm going to go ahead and pick up the battery here. So after about 45 to 50 hours from about, oh, right here. So as we can see, the voltage on it was 3.76. So we're going to go ahead and pick up my uh, voltage meter, voltmeter, right here and measure after a couple of days. I already picked, put this uh, car battery, tested it, it's working fine. I was able to start my Toyota Highlander with it about three times and actually it's working great now. Uh, the idea here is we just, I just don't know how strong the battery is. Um, since I haven't had it for a while so I'll hook it up to the vehicle and keep driving it for a few days or weeks and we'll see how it holds but so far um, we're gonna connect it to 
Okay, so a little hard with one hand as usual. So I'm gonna try to do it in one video without any pause. Okay, so we've got positive to positive, negative to negative, and hope you can see it, guys. This volt, it's showing 12.37 volts. So this battery is revived, it's healed, it's working fine now after uh, two days, about 45 to 50 hours. And it was probably fully charged, probably after maybe a day, but day and a half. Last time I checked was after about a day. Um, the voltage was still about seven, seven and a half range or something, eight. So after two days, that was helpful. So it's a matter of time. For some of you, it may take one day. For some of you, it may take three to four days. As long as your battery is less than, let's say, five, six years old or four years old, it's not completely dead and you don't have over 100,000 crazy miles uh, and it's got corrosive acids all over the connectors and everything, your battery may, may still be uh, revivable and reusable. So, I don't know, Walmart kind of told me to buy a brand new battery for 120 bucks. I decided to kind of wait on it. All right, there it goes, disconnecting, zero. And I'm gonna connect it for testing again. Voltmeter, 12.37, 36. So this is strong enough to start the car, uh, most cars. It starts my Highlander now, and uh, there we go. That's how we can recharge. Uh, I did with my car, my other car, and the jumper cables what most, pretty much all battery chargers could not do. So there you have it, folks. Good luck with yours. Now you know how to recharge your car battery on your own. If you have a secondary vehicle with a strong battery. By the way, that battery I have here on this vehicle, this is a Toyota RAV4. V6 engine the battery's got about cold cranking amps on this one is 925 that's pretty high it's fairly fresh it's only nine ten months old fairly new battery that's the date sticker so thanks for watching guys good luck with yours take care be safe